Happy Planner Wednesday, and this spread is going to be from June the 25th to July 1st. It's hard to believe it's almost July. So let me show you what I've decided to do this week. I'm going to use the classic movie, Send Me No Flowers, starring Doris Day and Rock Hudson and Tony Randall. It is hilarious. It's a really sweet, cute movie. So I made my own stickers, and I saw this paper, and it just reminded me of one of my um, stickers that I made for the DVD of the movie. I mean, look at those flowers. They just look so much like this paper, I couldn't believe it. I got the paper at Michael's, and then I picked this paper that just looks like grass, and you'll see why in a minute, and I think it goes to nicely together, and then I'm just gonna be using this washi from Dollar Tree because it just reminds me of Doris Day and that whole time period, plus I think it goes nicely with the papers. And I'm probably gonna be using this Papermate pen that I bought at the Dollar Tree. So let's take my pages out of my paper, and I'm so glad everybody loved this uh, hydrangea theme. I loved it with the Dollar Tree stickers. They have such gorgeous stickers. Okay, I've decided I want this to be the dominant paper. And I decided to use this paper that looks like grass because he thinks he's dying and he goes and buys cemetery plots. It's hilarious. He is such a hypochondriac. Okay, let's lay our paper down like we want it. But this is gonna be a really cute spread. But the movie is such a sweet movie and it's funny. If you just want a good laugh, it's, it's hilarious, it really is. Okay, let's start to put our paper down now. That is really cute. Oh, I think that is going to be really, really cute. Okay, let's start to put our washi down. Hmm. 
<laughs> That's gonna be cute. Oh, that is really cute. I think that is really, really cute. I think I may put it down through here as well. Just to give it a little more punch. That is really cute, okay. All right, let's put down our stickers. And I already showed you this. This is just how the um, DVD looks. And it just says, send me no flowers with their pictures. And I'm gonna put it right up here, like I usually always do. And here's just a picture of her on her front porch when it starts out on the front porch and she gets locked out because he, and she's in her nightgown, she went out to get the paper, the mail and milk, but he is, <laughs> in their bathroom and this is his medicine cabinet and it's full of medicine that he doesn't need but he thinks that he does um, because he's such a hypochondriac and she's trying to get in but he can't hear her and then he continues to go in and take a shower a warm shower and take his temperature at the same time it is hilarious i think i'll put this one right here And then when she does get in, they're having breakfast and he, she's telling him, oh, you know, you're such a hypochondriac and they're laughing. Um, and he stands up and he says, well, one day my hypochondria will pay off. <laughs> it's so funny. So he goes to see the doctor. He tells her he's gonna go because he's had this pain in his chest. Um, and so he's at the doctor's office waiting on some, um, a report for his heart, but the doctor's already told him there's nothing wrong with him. He gives him just a pill just to appease him. And, um, then while he's coming out, he hears the doctor talking about another person that only has weeks to live. And naturally he thinks that's him. So here he's just asking the doctor if, if it was your best friend, would you tell them? that they were dying and he says if all your affairs are in order no uh, and I got that sticker on crooked and then when he comes home he's telling his wife Doris that she needs to be more careful because people will take advantage of her um, because she doesn't even know how much she paid for the ham and all this these little things and she needs to go to night school and all this stuff and then here he is with Tony Randall after he tells Tony that he's dying. He did take him in his confidence. Um, and they're all at the golf club and um, they met a friend of hers because she had this little event and I won't say what it is. This little mishap happened to her. And he decides he will try to marry 
Doris off to him. And then here he goes to um, Green Acres and he's buying cemetery plot from Paul Lynn. It's hysterical. And he makes provisions for another man because he's planning on her remarrying. And then finally Doris finds out because she thinks he's having an affair and he has to tell her. And then the doctor, she's so upset. She's trying to take such good care of him. But then the doctor comes by and says, no, he's not dying. So she thinks he's covering an affair. So she gets herself all, I mean, really looking good. And then she goes in. And I won't show, tell you what she does. I don't want to spoil it. And then here's the last one where they're standing in the living room. But it is hilarious. I mean, it's such a funny movie. I can't do it justice. It is hilarious. Okay, so I really think that looks good. So let me write a few things that I'm going to be doing. All right. Okay, let's put my pages back into my planner and we'll take a look at this. But I think this turned out so adorable. I really do think it's cute. It just looks so happy. And this is a very happy and funny movie. I mean, but that's why I got the green paper to represent the um, green acres and the funeral plots that he bought. It's hilarious. It really is a funny movie. And I love this washi. It does remind me of her. And this paper could not match that any better. And I really do love my stickers. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Until next time, bye guys.